lot of different goals here in the Center for Academic Success and First Year Experience. So we work with a lot of incoming first year students. Um, and so one of our big goals pertaining to that is really helping students have an amazing first year here at Maryville. And that begins really when they're um, going through the admissions process, all through the summer before they start, and then that whole first year, and of course afterwards too. We support all of our students here at Maryville, um, including the RAs. <laughs> so we really want to encourage um, the RAs to help incoming first year students feel supported. So anything they can do to connect them to resources, um, or really just spread the word about great faculty members, great classes, great staff members on campus, um, really great resources to connect them to. So that's one of our goals that we do here is really, really trying to make a great first year experience for students. A big piece of what I do here is I support students with disabilities on campus. Um, and so I, in, in doing that, there are so many different types of students out there with so many different types of disabilities. Um, and I, I would love to get to see RAs be sensitive to that and be aware of that. I think that awareness is key. <laughs> and so just knowing that there are students with disabilities because a lot of times it can be pretty invisible. The, the disabilities can be invisible and that means the student tends to be kind of invisible too. Um, there are a lot of students who are going to be living on campus, well, a few students living on campus, who have different types of disabilities and disorders that prevent them from connecting very well with other students. So RAs would be, it would be great if RAs can make a concerted effort to reach out to those students, um, but also being very aware of different sorts of impairments on campus, like mobility impairments, um, any sort of disabilities related to that too, and designing programming that includes everybody. I think that's gonna be really important. Um, another big goal that we do yeah. <laughs> is advising. Yeah. And I promise I won't take up the whole time, but um, <laughs> we do a ton of advising, and so I really just want RAs, if they could talk with students about um, talking with their advisor. How do I send an email to an advisor that's not, I need to meet with you tomorrow at two. It's more, I'd love to meet with you, when can we meet? Can I come in during your office hours? And, and really making that connection with their advisors. Some students are kind of nervous about that and scared about that. So for our, our RAs to normalize that, I think that would be wonderful. Okay. And what's something in the past that's been really helpful from the RAs? I would have to say I, that referring to resources has been amazing. I've had a few RAs um, who have encourage students to reach out to me. Um, maybe a student with a learning disability or ADHD, maybe they're not getting accommodations and they feel kind of nervous about that. They might think that there's some sort of stigma against them. And the RA helping them realize that, oh my gosh, tons of people do. One out of 10, if not more than that, have a learning disability for students in colleges. Um, so RAs referring those students to me has been really helpful. I'm Allie Crest and I'm the Assistant Director for Student Involvement. And one of the goals of our office is for students to create opportunities for students to get involved, to pursue leadership opportunities, to attend events, have social activities and things like that. So the RAs can serve a great role in that by learning about what organizations and opportunities are out there and encouraging students to take on some of those roles. And then also just taking students and inviting them to attend events and learn what things, what things are going on on campus and get them connected. Um, one thing that I think the RAs can improve upon is building community. I think that some of the RAs have done a really good job of that in the past, but we can continue improving in that area and getting students to really know one another and feel like they belong here and belong in their residential area um, and that they really have a community of strong people. Um, something I think that the RAs have done really well in the past um, is getting to know their their residents and getting to know them on a personal level and serving their unique needs and I think they should definitely continue doing so. Any other final comments? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Mooney. I just graduated with my bachelor's. Woo! Yay! Going to grad school in the fall for speech pathology at the University of Central Missouri. I have been an RA for three years counting this summer so been a great experience. Um, Can you talk about your first year as an RA and, and how you progressed through that, those years? Well, sure, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> my first year as an RA, I was a sophomore. I got pulled in my second semester sophomore year in Potter, and I was really excited, but yet terrified. I didn't want to knock on doors because I was shy. <laughs> I was in my room, pacing up and down. And I was like, Brandy, you're the RA, so you have to go knock on doors. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I made myself do it. And it turned out fine. 
I thought everyone was gonna hate me, but they didn't, so it's good. So why'd you come back? Um, I liked it. I wanted to gain more experience because one semester wasn't really enough to gain a lot of experience being an RA. So I came back junior year, was in Duchenne. Rip Duchenne. <laughs> <laughs> And it was a lot better this time. Like I wasn't afraid to go knock on doors, introduce myself when people were moving in. Got to know people a lot better. Um, I made a lot of cool bulletin boards. Was complimented on almost everyone. Um, and you went on to be a, a RA for a third year. Yeah, in Elm. I was in the apartments finally. Woo! Um, it was a lot different in the apartments because people want to be more on their own and program. Programming was a little bit more diff difficult because, you know, it was hard to get people there and be excited. But we did do some programs that were really successful, such as the five like love languages. So I recommend you guys doing that one again. Um, my next experience to the University of Central Missouri. <laughs> the skills I'm going to take are um, getting to know people. That's something I overcome a lot from being an RA. Um, not being afraid to tell people like what I really feel like for example if my roommate is being too loud like I don't have any problem be like hey do you mind you know keep it down trying to sleep um what else um just interpersonal skills um like mediation skills like breaking up arguments and hopefully not physical fights. But. I'm Evers Meyer. I lived on campus from 2012 to 2013. So tell me about your experience living on campus and maybe a positive experience you had uh, from your RA. Okay, um, living on campus really helped me because I was in a living learning community with my nursing friends. So it helped me really focused on uh, my schoolwork and the things I needed to get done. And it also helped open up opportunities to meet a lot of different people and to have fun with people on my floor. Um, a positive experience for my RA, she was really helpful with resources and um, to kind of find different activities to do on campus. She already, already knew like what was going on and the different things that they did every year. So she kept us really involved. Cool. My name is Della Spratt and I will be returning as a second year RA this fall. Um, 2014. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, I feel like I've gained a lot of skills throughout the last year in my RA experience. Um, I'm an occupational therapy major and one of the things I felt like I really struggled with is being creative, which is essential to being an OT. And the RA position has actually really helped me begin to think outside the box and develop and learn in new ways that I had no idea that I could. Um, as far as like planning and coming up with events for my residents and the entire campus, I've been able to come up with a lot more creative ideas and structure them and organize them and carry them out in a way that I would never have been able to do if it hadn't been for this position helping to teach me that. So that's one of the major things that I feel like I've gained through this, through this experience and learned. Uh, other things that I will definitely carry with me from this are things such as just being more assertive in my everyday life. Um, so. I mean, I'm just more comfortable talking to people now. Um, one of the things that I love about being an RA, um, one of the main reasons I wanted to be an RA was to help people and interact with people. I was on an all-freshman floor this past year, and getting to see the freshmen grow from the beginning of the year to the end of the year uh, was, it was really amazing. Uh, it kind of makes me think back to my freshman year and how I can't even like imagine that being myself but I know it was because there's so much growth that happens and it's really a privilege to get to be part of that and help the students at Maryville grow. So going into my second year I am a lot more focused. I have a lot better idea of what I want to do and where I want to go with a lot of the programs and events and I just have a better idea of what I'm doing. Um, going into last year uh, everything was new. This year I'm a little more experienced. Um, this year, uh, I have an idea of all the events I want to do, or a lot of the events I want to do, and not all of them. Um, I am not going to procrastinate because that really kicked me in the butt last year. So that's another thing that's been really big for me, is just organizing my time, knowing when I have time to do things, and getting them done in a timely manner. Um, I know it's a lot of talk, um, but hopefully you'll see it in action this fall. 
Uh, Any final comments for people that would like to be an RA or the new RAs coming in this year? Everybody has something to gain and something to learn from being an RA. Uh, there's not a single person, no matter how much experience you have, that will not learn something from being in this position. So no matter who you are, what major you are, or where you want to go after Maryville, uh, being an RA is a great experience. So some of the goals of my department include um, student satisfaction. We want students who come to Maryville to really enjoy their experience. And when they don't, when there is an issue, to be aware of them and see if there's something that Maryville can do to make them better. Uh, so that's one of our goals. Another one is student retention. So we want students to stay at Maryville. Lots of students come with a particular major and maybe that major doesn't work out. And so we really want to know about that early so that we can intervene and help them if they need to change a major or just help them find what the right path is for them. Um, those are a couple of the goals of our areas. And uh, RAs can really be helpful by letting us know when they have a resident who is struggling at Maryville for any reason, whether it be a uh, personal reason, a financial reason, an academic reason, letting us know about that so that we can intervene quickly and try to make a difference. Um, so that's one, you know, that individual um, awareness of a particular student that they're concerned about. And then more broadly, resident, um, RAs really know what the word on the street is yeah. in terms of what students are complaining about, what are students not happy about, and working with us, we can partner to really kind of build a strategy to improve those things that aren't working right. or that aren't going well for students. And so because the RAs hear that every day, um, you know, they can be really helpful to us in knowing what we need to change and improve about Maryville. Cool. So what's an area that you'd like to see enhanced or improved with that partnership? Um, I think a, an area to enhance would be to, um, I think at the beginning of the year, I love coming in and sharing with the RAs what's going on in terms of uh, the rates of res uh, retention. Mm -hmm across the board and so I think that if that can stay at the forefront of the residents mind in terms of whenever they're thinking about programming or thinking about getting their um, students together to go to something think about how can can I make sure that I include the undeclared students or how can I make sure that you know this population out there is you know needs needs me a little bit more than this other population and so just you know, being aware of that and then also ongoing increasing the communication I would say between our area and the RAs um, either through the professional staff or otherwise so that we are aware as soon as possible so as soon as a student is gosh they're going home every weekend you know how do we find that out so that we can intervene and help um, on the academic side I think that if, a, if the residents know for example who the pre-med students are that are already struggling in their first year in their sciences. How can we connect with those students earlier because they already know they're struggling to say, hey, we might want to talk about a different major and this might not work out. Um, that might be a little bold for the RA to have to say, but how do we partner with the RAs to, to get in there and help them earlier rather than waiting for the student to come to us? And then something in the past that has been really helpful from the RAs? I think something that in the past been super helpful from the RAs has been working with peer mentors. The more they can work with peer mentors, especially I'm, I'm talking about first year students, um, the more that it looks like we're all on the same page together and so the right hand knows what the left hand's doing and so I think we've made great progress the past few years with the RAs um, who work with peer mentors to say, hey, your class is about community service. I'm going to do a program where we're going to serve this agency and so it's, it's really that partnering that has been very, very helpful and I don't think <clears throat> I don't think it has to be a living learning community to do that. So if the RAs were to, you know, would look at what the um, university seminar classes are about and figure out how can we partner, I think that has happened in the past and I think the more we can do that, the better.